So this one, um, question four, is sort of the opposite of question three. Calculate the mass, and we're given number of atoms. <coughs> so here we have um, atoms of iron. So 8.5 point, come on, point, 1 times 10 to the 29, I think I've got too many kid fingerprints on the screen, atoms of iron, it's uh, important to know the symbol of iron, we want to divide by atoms, and we want mass, Gram is the unit of mass. So the periodic table tells us that iron is 55.85 grams. That's the mass of one mole, right? And one mole is how many atoms? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So atoms cancel. You can do these in two steps also. You can convert atoms to moles and then moles to grams. And if that makes more sense to you, you go right ahead and do that. 8.51 EE29 times 55.85 divided by 6.022 EE23. And this time, my, my calculator is giving me a large and very ugly number, right? So 7, 8, 9, 2, 4, 5, 2, 6, 0. 0.74. Why was 6 afraid of 7? Because 7, seven eight, 9. <laughs> Sorry, that just reminded me of that. Um, that's a big number. That number should be in scientific notation. And how many significant figures should we be keeping? We should keep three because we started with three. So we want to keep this nine. So we need to move the decimal point over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So we're going to have 7.89 times 10 to the 7 grams. If, if your number in decimal form is a big number, then your exponent is positive. Just like if your paycheck is big, you feel positive. If the number in decimal form is a little number, less than one, then the exponent is negative. Because if you have a little tiny paycheck, you have negative feelings about that. So then do letter B. 